up everybody I know it's been a long time uh, miss you guys um, not sure when we'll have tech talk back but um, I've been seeing mr. fireman's kind of struggling with his car and asking questions about a certain area and I was going to help him with that but he seems like he's kind of got it going in the right direction and he's to a point right now where he has a car similar to this one this one's not quite as bad as his um but i tried to leave this one like it is uh before i did the fix on it but um i'm gonna jump in here and show you guys how to fix this gap as you can see it's tighter at the bottom and it's open at the top my door is flush at the end of my rocker my door could go forward a little bit and if my door went forward a little bit that would make this gap here open up a little bit more um, and then my back is pretty flush with the back of the rocker so everything's screwed up this is the exact example of what mr. fireman's is except for my inner structure is connected to my rocker on the inside my rocker is welded but my floor isn't attached to my rocker yet so this is basically the same setup minus the area right inside of here on his at the bottom his is not welded which will help um so i'm going to get to it and show you guys how i fix it i think i put it in a video i just didn't know where so i said i would just make a new one Plus, I would get to hang out with you guys for a minute, uh, even though it's not live. We're gonna pretend like it is. Is there any questions there? There it is on the camera today. Hi guys. So, uh, the deck lid. I always tell everybody to pull the quarter around and don't pay attention to the end of this because if you make this gap right, this gap's surely gonna be big. But right now, that gap is perfect except for the end right there. I can work that in. The gap up here is good. I, it's gonna need some pulling down and all that, but I'm just using this as a reference to what to do. Same as on this side. Now, he's talking about in his video, putting the monkey on a stick, which this is a uh, SSRS, so it had a spoiler, so the springs are heavy. It won't stay down on its own. Um, for anybody that don't know, this is the monkey on a stick. And it's your best friend when you're building these cars. But if you stick the monkey on the stick in here right now and you got this loose and you're trying to lift the quarter to close that gap, you're gonna start pulling up on this area and you're gonna leave this behind and that's gonna make this roll over and it's gonna make this gap get tighter. You don't want to move this gap because this gap is perfect. So you don't want to make your up and down adjustment right here because if you roll this up, it's gonna close this gap more and then you're gonna be fighting that issue. All this is profiling good, this is in the area. So you don't want to use the monkey on the stick. Now, most cars that come in have had variations in the back end of the car and they go from where the, my jig measurements are, or the factory center line, or whatever you want to call it, the pad where the rear spring hanger lands. If you put a car on a jig that is factory, sometimes the frame rails don't touch that area in the back. So in the variation of cars that I've measured, there's usually three quarters of an inch difference that's why the rear of my spring pieces or spring my spring locators in the back of the car have a slotted area in them and that's to allow for that variation so what i'm going to do is you seen the gap i'm going to undo any clamp that i have on the quarter the quarter is attached at the wheelhouse leave it there i'm going to undo clamps off of this area, the clamps off of this area. I don't, I'm not going to worry about the one I have on my deck, on my deck filler here. Um, I'm going to leave my wheelhouse 
and all that attached. So I'm gonna get my welder. Now this rocker is gonna come out of this car because it's messed up right there, but I'm building it and I'm gonna pull the rocker out uh, later. So it really don't matter. But what I do is Mr. Fireman's uh, gap is good. This is running good. Mine's a little high, but that ain't, that's nothing. Like I say, this rocker, I haven't really measured it out. Um, what I like to do is there's no good way to put a screw back here. Cause when you screw it to the, when you screw it into the wheelhouse, it tends to want to push the quarter panel forward and leave this behind. So what I do is I get my welder and I just tack the end of this to my rocker. That way it does not move, it stays where it's at. So I didn't do it way out on the outside because I want that line there. Now, when I get ready to take my quarter back off, I'll be able to just take my cut, cutting wheel, cut that, pull my quarter off, weld it all back up, put it back on, tack it back, and do the same thing. So now that I have that tacked, I'm going to, my screws are un, already unloosened, which, um, I don't know, Aaron's got her good clothes on, but I'm gonna get the camera for a second and I'll show you guys up in here that right here, I've got these unloosened and they're slotted, you can, you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my pry bar in here and I'm gonna pry this up and I'm gonna add a half inch spacer that I have right here. Now, I'm not sure if Aaron will be able to get down here and, and, and see. I'll try to stay back. Or my back's been messed up, but I usually, sometimes I have to get two that way. Um, that way I can work it better. Uh, to get the, Now, you can get the uh, quarter power, or I'm gonna go ahead and take the screw out. Well, I thought I had it unloosened. You did. Because my, my rail is already welded, so it's not gonna move. Um, I, but, but I'm a, uh, I can get it up in there. You can get your porta power and put it in here and push it up if you have one. I'm trying to stay, it's hard for me to stay out of the camera. Now I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Because when you do one side, you always want to do the same thing on the other side. It, 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 you can't get it to, can't make one um, jealous of the other. So, I got stuff everywhere and my back's been out. So, I'm not, not feeling the greatest. He's going to go to the chiropractor after he gets done showing you guys this and hopefully she can help get him squared away. This will be the third visit this week. So, I got two in there. Now, so it doesn't have to be all the way in, just enough to... Not just enough to get a space in it. Now, I'm going to throw my clamp back on. Uh, here and throw the clamp back here and we're gonna shut the door and we're gonna see if the top gap closed that's a whole lot better now 
you can see the top's good and the bottom's still just a little bit tight but the reason that is tight is because you can see that my quarter panel is a little forward so if i get my porter power and i open this up and i put my porter power in here to this and undo that screw and push this back when I push that back, I can reset my screw and that'll make the bottom exactly match the top. But you can definitely tell that the top is closed. It closed it up, guys. Let's see what the other side will like. It was the same, we just didn't ever get a comparison. This side over here, it is on. It's... Sorry, the lighting over here is not as good Yeah, guys. that's why I didn't come on this side. But that and gap looks nice. The gap's good. And my door is a little bit back on my rocker. You can see it's a little bit back. So if I slide my, if my door is centered, like I always tell everybody to do, now I got adjustment to move my door forward just a little bit, even it up right there, and that's gonna make that gap perfect. So I hope that helps you out, Mr. Fireman. I appreciate the shout outs. Love you, and God bless you. Um, just the lighting. <laughs> Aaron's pointing me around to the other side. You want to see his beautiful faces, he yeah. says his goodbyes. So, so uh, love you, and I hope that helps. If it don't, I'll keep watching out for your videos and trying to see if I can help you. Um, like I said, I'm not gone anywhere. It's just tech talk. Um, right now, I don't really want to do anything up here yet, because I really it, it's all a little thing with the customers um and and the shop and all that so but i haven't gone nowhere i still love you guys and We're i'm still, still going to help you if you have questions feel free to ask me um i know mr fireman hasn't asked and i know a lot of people comment and say that uh asked juby and and all this and i know he says he mentions my name uh several times in his video and i appreciate the shout out um i love you guys god bless you all I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Uh, like, share, soon. subscribe, comment in the bottom with any questions you may have. Yeah, that, that helps out a lot. Love you guys. If you have any questions, ask me.